Hello, I'm back with an unboxing and a review. So I'll unbox this um, edition I've just picked up. <clears throat> I'll watch the new Blu-ray and then I'll do a quick review. So this is the Sacrament, um, released by Second Sight Films. Um, they did do a big um, limited edition set for about £30 with the same artwork. But as you can imagine, in the box form with the booklet and this um, slipped in as well. But I thought I'd just go for the standard release. I mean... The um, limited edition wasn't a 4K or anything, it was a Blu-ray like this. So I thought, you know what, for a change, I'm going to do something that I find quite refreshing and just pick the standard release up, save myself like £15, half the price, and just get the standard release. It's got the lovely new artwork on it. Yeah, great film, The Sacrament, from um, Ty West, who's done things like House of the Devil and um, X, um, Pearl, and the up-and-coming uh, Maxine. This is one of his older films, but it's very good nonetheless. Um... It's about this place called Eden Parish, where this um, documentary crew go, as it states on the back. Small documentary film crew accompanies a man as he travels to Eden Parish, in search of its missing, si in search of his missing sister. It soon becomes apparent that this paradise is not what it seems. So they've tried to set up this kind of utopia. You've got the main guy who's on the cover there. He's like the leader, and it's this sort of like cult-like parish, and things. Um, Descend into chaos um, a little later on in the film, but really good mockumentary, really enjoyable. This is a nice release, actually. It's really refreshing just to have a standard release. I mean, I could have got the box, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get the Blu ray, the standard Blu ray edition. It's got all the special features and everything with making of the sacrament and whatnot. And um, the film's from 2013. Um, there's all your specs. 99 minutes this is a region b blu-ray so you will need um to be all region or have region b capabilities but yeah nice addition love the artwork i mean i bet this looks really nice on the um box but yeah i just went for the standard on this one but i'll um watch the new disc and review it no um reversible art just the disc there with the sacrament on i'll zoom in there a little bit second sight films yeah nice Nice little standard edition. So, right, I'll um, watch this new edition. I've seen the film a couple of times before, but I'll go watch this um, Second Sight release, which came out yesterday, and um, I'll give you a review on it and the film itself as well. Yeah, so just got wa uh, done watching the um, new Sacrament Blu-ray from Second Sight. Just a standard edition, but it's the same disc as what's in the um, limited edition. Um, really enjoyed revisiting the film. Yeah, it's a great mockumentary-style uh, movie. Um, as I said a little bit ago, it's about Eden... Um, parish that's where the film takes place this um sort of like um colony of people who are basically um under um influence of this guy the father they call him father um he's another interesting character in the film so basically they've um gone to this new um place to populate it you know um sort of out in the um jungle middle of nowhere and um they're basically cultivating crops on the land and, you know, they're trying to have a um, sustainable, self-reliant way of living. So they basically started this um, new society, um, like I say, under the influence of father and the Vice crew go there. So if you know the TV channel Vice, well, it used to be a TV channel. I'm not too sure if it still is, but they do documentaries, you know going all over the world and like talking about controversial things, issues, um, you know, international um, politics and things like that. They've even been North Korea, I think, they got in there and um, filmed. But anyway, it uses Vice in the um, film. The crew, a couple of guys from Vice go to Eden Parish with um, this chap who wants to um, basically um, go to see his sister. So he wants to... Um, meet back up with his sister she greets them she's a bit over the top and kind of like very welcoming though and they stay in these cabins that's the people sort of live in wooden cabins on the um parish then they do an interview with the father and things get a little bit heated because they they're asking him some um you know some dynamite questions you know like the big ones and stuff and the father gets a little bit defensive and says you know you're just trying to pick at all the negatives and highlight that as opposed to um, highlighting the positives about the um, parish so they've already got off on the wrong foot with the um, father and then um, weird stuff starts happening they receive a note late at night one of the um, gentlemen does and um, it says please help us 
and there's people who want to actually get out of the parish they're meant to be leaving in the morning the documentary makers but um there's a lot kicking off and they decide to go back because um one of their um crew members is still there the one who's gone to see his sister is still at the um camp basically at the parish and um yeah it all kicks off with some great scenes like where the father's preaching about you know the americans are going to come in now and just like shoot us all and attack us and invade us basically he's, he's uh, manipulating his parish folk with that um rhetoric and um they believe him and they take this drink which is basically um poison so they're all poisoned and they've committed suicide basically mass suicide you know like a cult suicide because subsequently it's a cult it's basically a cult and the father's the cult leader he's just manipulating all these people and yeah it just takes a bit of a nasty turn there's a good scene with the father confronts the um two documentary makers again whilst one of them's tied up in a chair he pulls out a gun I won't give away what happens, but there's that scene. And they're just trying to get away from the parish, really. And, um, yeah, very interesting film exploring, like, cult ideologies and things like that. I did enjoy watching this one again. It's a really good one. Nice release from Second Sight. Yeah, the disc looks good. Good Blu-ray. It's mockumentary style, but made but done on, like, modern cameras. So there's not, like, fuzziness and um, static and things like that and shaky cam. It's just straight up, like, made with, like, new cameras. But it is mockumentary style. I actually upgraded from this edition, the Midnight Factory, um, Italian edition of the Sacrament. That's the edition that I had before. Not a bad edition. But this one looks a little bit nicer, like the picture's a bit better. And um, not, not by a landslide, but it's a bit better. And um, it's a much better packaged um, edition. But, yeah, there's another look at the other one that I had. The Sacrament need to try and sell that or something it's quite hard i'm not able to i'm not being able to sell it at the minute i've been trying because i wanted just to have this one but anyway there's a little review on the sacrament for you i'd give it a three and a half out of five so really solid mockumentary this father character's cult leader guy is very interesting also great performance from the actor who played him and um yeah some interesting moving parts going on all resulting in a bit of chaos in the um, parish where this cult um reside so that's Sacrament anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.